Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the best After Effects tutorial channel. Today we will learn how to make this amazing looking luxurious logo design animation where we have this cool 3D look and this glow and it just looks really good. And the best thing is we don't need any plugins, it's just After Effects so we can just go right into it. I think it will take less than 5 minutes so yeah, let's go. Let's make a new composition, just hit OK. Let's first of all also add a solid for the background just a black solid and then we need to import our logo. Obviously this needs to be a transparent PNG file just like this so it doesn't have a background, it's transparent and then we can just go right into it. So maybe we also want to scale it up a bit just so it fits our, yeah, whatever we like. And then first step is to activate this 3D icon here so we can rotate it on more axes. In this case we will rotate the right rotation, the right axis, so let's just do it. Go to the beginning of the animation, put in a keyframe, then go to the end and just rotate it however you or how much you like. Just like this. I think this looks cool. We can work with that. And yeah, that's it already with the animation basically. Now we just have to add the cool effects, the, the stylish look and this yeah 3D thing that follows the rotation. Which everything, as I said, is super simple. To do that, let's first of all right click on this layer, select pre-compose and then um, yeah select this setting this is super important don't forget that make sure this is ticked and hit ok now we will duplicate this uh, pre-composition basically two times so we have three things and can apply effects accordingly so first of all duplicate one and duplicate two by pressing ctrl d and yeah the first layer we will use to give it a, a cool layer style so you can see it looks a little a bit silverish and we can achieve that by pressing right click on here, going to layer styles and first of all apply a gradient overlay. Open this up, go to edit gradient and then let's make it switching from yeah, a kind of bright gray to a dark gray. So first point should be something like this, second point, let's give it a dark gray, third point, a bit lighter, next point, dark gray again, and light gray, and finally of course something dark grayish. Press OK and yeah this looks already a bit cool, let's also give it a 45 degrees angle so it looks more natural, maybe let's make the, some grey points a bit lighter, yeah this looks amazing. Let's also add one or two more things, first of all a little, yeah, a little inner shadow, you can just leave the normal settings and then also a bevel and emboss where also I think the normal settings look kind of cool. So now we got already this, yeah, basically this little bit yeah, shiny 3D look and we can now focus on the fun part which is, yeah, these nice things. So let's select the second layer, so the one in the middle basically and here we just have to apply two effects. Let's start with the right tiny effect, just apply it and also add a fill effect to give it some some nice color. By default you can see it will be red, but you will really see the effect if we actually change the backward steps, which we have to put in something like yeah, 20 maybe, or even 25, whatever you like. Let's just think of 20 for example. And we can see we get this nice following glowing trail, which I think looks absolutely amazing. You can already work with that. So you can stop here if you like it. But yeah, let's continue making this or improving this effect. So first of all, let's stick to the yeah, thing that I used before, which is a light green, just to yeah, be consistent here. Of course we want that, just hit okay. That's it with the, with the shine effect. And now we have to add these super cool looking yeah, echoes, these 3D things that follow behind, which we will do on the last layer, which is the lowest one. Here we can add, first of all, a fine edges effect. You won't see anything because this layer is behind everything else, first of all, so you have to trust me with that. So let's hit invert on this one, then let's add the actual echo effect. And adjust the settings a bit, I like to put a minus 0.04 in here. And we only have one copy, we have to change that to something like 7 or 8. And now if this will finally come, this will load, yeah, you can see we now have these following copies of this layer, which already looks kind of cool, but as we can see it looks a bit messy and not controlled. So let's actually change that. We will add another color gradient effect basically, which is the minimax effect. And put in the minimum to the maximum setting in here. Or oh, no, actually maximum then minimum. 
and increase the radius to two or three. And yeah, as you can see, this will just give this more 3D look, which I think looks super cool. And you are free on this one. I like to use two, you can do whatever. And yeah, this already looks cool in the raw version. The, the thing that made this uh, this composition look better or like really amazing are basically just color correction effects. So now we are finished with the logo thing. Now let's add an um, adjustment layer, put it on top of everything. And here we can add stuff like a glow effect, just like this. And you will see, boom, it will already look way cooler. We can obviously yeah, play with the settings. Let's increase the the glow radius, for example. We can play with the intensity, of course, but this is completely up to you. You are completely free on that one. And obviously, whatever works as well is like a, a color correction or like a brightness and contrast effect. Just play with these settings. Like add some contrast, play with the brightness. This is now completely up to you. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And obviously, which always look makes everything look better as a cool background. So if we copy this like stock photo plus uh, solid background in here, we can see that now we have this this final amazing looking logo animation. And yeah, as you can see, it varies a little bit to the example, but yeah, that's just depending on how, how you do the settings in here. You can increase the backward steps, for example, or just play with this. And I can guarantee you will have a nice result. So thanks for watching and see you next time.